Hi, this is Amy, and I want to show you how to take an album from Picasa, save it up to the web, and then embed it in a web page. So first we're going to start out by installing Picasa on your computer. So we'll go to picasa.google.com and download Picasa and let it install. After Picasa installs on your computer, you'll want to allow it to start crawling through your computer and finding all of your photographs. The next thing that you'll want to do is put your pictures into albums or folders so that you can upload those folders to the web. So you can see right here I've got a folder created. I've turned on sync to web and now I'm going to go to my Picasa on the web and I'm going to find the same folder. So it's called GTANY 2012. This is the folder we're going to use for an example. So over here in my browser now, I've gone to picassoweb.google.com and I've logged in with the same account that I used on my downloaded Picasa. So here's the account that these pictures are stored in and I'm logged in with that same account over here at Picasa Web. So it's kind of confusing, you know, it's, it's two sides of the same thing. So now here's that album that I have uploaded pictures to. There we go. And now I want to turn this into a slideshow so that I can put it on my website. So here's our slideshow button right over here. We can see how nice this looks. We want people to be able to get this on the, on the website. So let's do that next. All right, notice right over here it says limited. That means that only I or only certain people I've specified can even see this album, but our goal is to put this on the web on a website. So let's go over and edit and change our visibility to public on the web. Um, right here is where you decide whether or not you want people to be able to see where these pictures were taken. In my case, I do. These are all uh, adults. There are no, no photos taken at my home here. And so now, now I'll click Save Changes. And now I see some new options over here. So let's take a look at this option, link to this album, and I see some information on embedding a slideshow. So let's click on the embed slideshow option and we'll decide how big. In my example, I'm gonna change it to large and I'll leave it auto play. And once I change the options to make them like I want, I'll double click in the box and then right click and copy or else hit control C and now I'll click done. All right, now in my school district, we use a tool called Sharp School. So you log into whatever tool you use for your website and then we'll work on putting it into the site. All right, so I've navigated over to my web page tool and I've chosen to edit this page. And now I'm gonna to toggle my edit tool over to HTML because remember we copied that code onto our clipboard. So now it's just sitting there ready to be pasted. And so now I'm gonna right click and paste. I'm gonna do one more thing because I want this slideshow to show up in the center of my page. So I'm gonna come up here before the code starts and type less than, center, greater than, no space. And at the end, I'll type less than, forward slash, center, greater than. And now let's go and publish this page and see how it looks. All right, so to be honest, I had to do that two different times. I had to go back to page properties, check out my page again. I had to save it. Then I had to go back to it and republish it. But once I did that a couple of times, I do now see my slideshow show up in my page. I can have other content on this page too. It is sometimes difficult to have a slideshow next to something else. It's really usually easier to put your other content above or below the slideshow. But it's kind of neat because people will be able now to go to this slideshow. I just clicked down here in the corner. They can actually go and look at the album and look at the pictures bigger and they can have some control over how these pictures show up also. So hopefully that solves your problem today and um, if you have any further questions let me know. Thanks and have a great day.